Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today's video is going to be a bit different. Uh, it's my little Easter Bunny special. Uh, on every farm you've got your main farming job and then you've got probably, if most farms are like ours, um, a couple of hobby things that you like to do. So for me personally, my mom and I, we breed and sell Holland Lop Bunnies and also French Lops, but for this video to make it a little bit shorter, I'm just going to be showing off our Holland Lops today. Um, just to make some cute little Easter Bunnies. Um, yeah, and I also have some horses that I'm going to be training, so I figured, you know, it's all part of the farm life to have your hobby animals and the animals that run the farm, so the cows are what makes the farm keep going and the cows are what make having bunnies like these possible so i'm gonna introduce you to some of my bunnies today <laughs> so this is countess her color is a black magpie don't ask me why it's called magpie i think magpies are the most annoying birds in in the planet on the planet so this is how you're supposed to pose a Holland Lop. You're meant to sit them up so that they're upright and making pictures like this is super easy too. And usually she'll just sit like that for a little while while I adjust her and make her look pretty from all the angles. So, and her ears are on their way to going down. So yeah. She's one of my favorite little ones. She was born December 30th. And um, something that I really like to focus on is breeding bunnies with good temperaments. So she doesn't care really what I do, but I can put an egg on her head and she doesn't really care. So. <laughs> and this little guy is Tea Biscuit. He's actually Countess's dad. His color is blue sable magpie, so because he's got a bit of shading here, he is known as a sable colored magpie. And he was born last year in June, on the 17th, I believe. <laughs> he's popular on my bunny Instagram uh, because he is also quite tolerant of getting his picture taken. He'll usually sit quite nice. And I'll usually be able to get the good shots from him because he just cooperates really well. Like, look how cute that is. <laughs> and he's so small. Like, I wouldn't, I would say he's maybe two and a half pounds, if that. So, really cute, small guy. You camera shy today? Hmm? <laughs> and here we have Viscount. He's actually Countess's brother, and this is also Tea Biscuit's son. So Countess and Viscount are from the same litter, and <laughs> he's so funny and so cute, very sweet. He loves to cuddle, and they're all super sweet, right? You sweetie. <laughs> so. Yeah, when I'm not with the cows or the horses, I'm with the bunnies. So I think you can understand why. <laughs> this guy, his name is Moliere. You have to sit pretty for the camera. And his color you would call a black otter. But we should have called him King Kong because he's so <laughs> chonky. Look at him. Uh, he was actually born at Christmas, so December 25th, 2020 is his birthday. And he's also a super sweet little dude. Right? Here we have ricotta, as in ricotta cheese. I had a litter born January 18th, I believe. And they were all sort of orangey colored, so I decided that I would name them after cheeses. And the litter's nickname would be cheese buns so those are not real and also not for eating missy <laughs> but yeah she's a bit more mischievous than the rest her color is tricolor because 
as you can see she's a bit more lightly marked but she's orange white and you can see a bit of black here and that makes her three colors hence the name tricolor this is scamper he's a black based chinchilla really cute little guy he was born november 4th i'm pretty sure and this color is actually really cool he's part of a, a color pattern called agouti and you tell that by being able to blow into the fur and seeing the rings of color so that's how you know that he's that color he's a little bit of a rascal this guy <laughs> he would rather go exploring instead of sitting nicely for the camera but you know I'm still able to get some cute pictures of him regardless so hey scamper so for the last two I'm going to show you guys today this is Alaska and this here is Everest he hates having his picture taken. This guy <laughs> doesn't like to sit still for it, which drives me nuts, but you know, you gotta learn to work with them. So Alaska's always enjoyed just sitting. These are both super cute little guys. So And I tell them apart because Everest has more dark on the right side of his face. Otherwise, I think they'd be near impossible to tell apart just because the bodies look so similar. Like their ears are pretty the same. Their bodies, so yeah. But you guys make really cute Easter bunnies. Hey. So thanks for watching this video. I know it was a little different, but hopefully you enjoyed it. And uh, I guess let me know in the comments section below if you guys want to see more about bunnies and in the future also about horses. <laughs> thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Mwah. Say bye. Can you wave? <laughs>